Hey everyone, my name's Pupsker Genshin, and today we're going and we're going to run the Forgotten Halls uh, Memory of Chaos, and we are trying to get all 30 stars as a free-to-play player, I might add. I've gotten pretty high up here before, but I don't know if I've ever gotten 30 stars. What we're working with is as follows, an almost completely built Den Hang, fully leveled up almost here, but not quite, not quite, there we go, needed to give myself that extra HP, of course, that's always what it rolls. We have a pretty set up Bailu right there, could be stronger, but still, pretty set up Zheng Wan, Blade as well, all pretty maxed out there. We have a Yong Shang, which we may use, we have a Natasha as a healer, which we could upgrade a little more, but at least she's pretty strong. We have a Ting Yun as well, pretty strong and built up Asta, as well as a possible Xing Shou as a DPS or Den Heng. But since we have Den Heng ill, I don't think we'll have much use for regular Den Heng, because we also have Blade. So, let's get to it, and hopefully we can just ace this for a while. Now the first five we're gonna auto battle no problem at all, chiming in a little bit. As always though, build your team with damage, damage, right? This one, lightning, uh, fire, let's do damage. And then for this we could just throw on our healer. And that's right, more damage. No, 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 we'll do a support. And now we're just gonna auto clear this in seconds because they're such low levels. So I'll chime in when we're almost done here. Okay, we're very easily done the first area with 27 cycles remaining. So we're gonna continue on this rate probably until five and we might have to start manually playing soon enough. Always double check both of the bosses because you can match some side elements to them and easily kill them. And other than that, just keep going and you should be able to have a pretty decent time with it. Yeah, this is where we really get a good look at what my damage is like. They just hit vulnerable, so now my ult goes off and then my uh, lightning lord, so almost one shot the boss. But we're only in like level two, so we still have a long ways to go. These are gonna be easy as cake for sure. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention that the trotters in this one, uh, for this week, are when they die, they give vulnerabilities to enemies. I'll go over that again in the next menu when we start for round three, just to like read it off again to make it a little simpler. But now that I have at least like four DPS very highly well built up, one single target and then the other is like multi-target, I can at least crush pretty far into this. I don't think I'm gonna get 30 stars, all things considered. I'll have to probably manual play six, seven, eight, nine, ten, but I'm not 100% sure. You can see my damage right now is still good, no problem, but however long that may last, that's always the question, right? So, who knows? Seeing just like that, with 25 cycles left, we have completed number two and gotten a good amount of Stellar Jade so far. But here's where it says, like, summon Warp Trotter. Trotter takes 200% more damage from skills and ultimates. When defeated, vulnerable on all enemies, make them take 30% more damage for two turns. Effect stacks up to two times. So, all things considered, that is pretty busted. Ooh, I have a decent enough team. I wish my Xing Shou was stronger than this, but that's okay. She can still be a very good DPS. And I can throw down Asta so they go more often and don't die. But, you know, hopefully that goes well. Either way, my team should tank through those enemies. I'll throw the Jeopard fight on because that'll be a pretty interesting fight. But other than this, I'll just be like destroying the enemies still for a while because it's still pretty low level. The auto battle can be kind of stupid though and go after the wrong enemies. So there's always that to keep in mind. And because I'm not using Blade this time, because I'm using Xing Shou and she's a uh, weaker and lower level. I will actually lose out on some DPS overall, but the break should kind of make up for that, you know? And I have Yang Shang, and he's not my strongest DPS, but he is single target, and he is still strong. So, you know, I should be okay. I should be fine, in theory. I hope. I hope, you know? Oh, now that I'm going into the Jeopard fight, Jeopard, watch me as I absolutely destroy him, as this is my 
much more stacked team. I don't even have Blade in my other team. I have none of my five-star special event banner characters. Oh, but this time, I'm gonna, like, one-shot Jeopard in no time flat, right? Like, look at him. He's already 59% HP. Ting Wong is about to get Jing Wan to ulti. He's just gonna destroy everyone now. And then he's gonna break Jeopard. Jeopard. Jeopard's already at 34, and boom goes the dynamite. Dead in, like, one go. So that's the good part about having an absolutely stacked team. Oh, crap, I forgot. Oh, well. And, yeah, you can get a lot more done when you both can match the damages of your DPS to the breaks of the enemies, and can do a ton of AoE, you know? I love the AoE of all my characters, so, yeah, would recommend 10 out of 10. And that's why we got this one done in, like, 24 cycles. Oh, but that's only the third one, and we're already going on to the fourth. Only 9 out of 30 uh, stars, so I don't know how this is going to go. We'll continue on and see, but I think uh, I think I'll manage still. So this is the first team I went with, Blade, Asta, Bailu, Xingwan. Overall, still a very strong team, so I shouldn't have any issues. I have good AoE, good damage, and I have Asta for both breaking and and for speed increase, so she's one of my more built supports as well, her and Ting Wan, her more than Ting Yun, Ting Wan, Ting Yun, so I should be good to go either way. Okay, now that I have my second team out, yeah, I should still just absolutely crush him though, that's the thing. So I think I'll be good at least until like 5, 6 maybe? Yeah, maybe I'll have to start autoing on 7. I'll let y'all know though if I start getting absolutely destroyed and start like crying or anything. But one of the types of enemies that could totally stomp me is this type of enemy, where he just revives infinitely, and it's such a pain in the butt for me. But I think with my Den Hang ill, I should be A-OK, -okay, and I have such a high damage amount right now that, like, there's no way they can cap me on that, so I should be A-OK. -okay. Look at this, my Den Hang ill's already gonna kill everyone with Yongsheng. See? So, no problem, actually, no problem. Cool, we got another 25 remaining cycles and more loot. 12 stars now. Nice, let's go about and finish off the halfway point. Ooh, this one's gonna be a little tough. So, this is the one team I went with. I should also have no problem though, so yeah, let's see on another uh, second team, I should say. Okay, so my first team destroyed it in like 28 rounds, so this is my second team setup, and they should do better because they're stronger DPS and have better matching. As you can see, my Den Hengil's already killing the enemies, so there you go. Okay, I'm about to finish them off here, and I think uh, no problem will I get the total of three stars again, so yeah. Let's go on to our next battle in area number six, because this one was pretty easy as well, still. At least once you get to round six, you'll get to the point where it's just two battles back to back, so it's even easier to auto battle now, right? They make the harder ones easier to auto battle for a reason, because it's kind of harder if you get it here, so now you can go get coffee and take a walk easier. Cheers! Okay, so one thing I've noticed is now the enemies are starting to get stronger. So that means I need to possibly kill the Trotters and then full combo the enemies harder for that sweet damage boost. So we might have to stop doing auto next round, honestly. But this team is good AoE, so they should be fine. Like, let's just see their intro fighting sequence and just see. Yeah, they'll be okay. They'll have no problems. Because then I'll already right here hit that. And the damage is just gonna kill all the enemies, and the Warp Trotter's about to die. Now they're gonna take increased damage. Okay, this team is stronger for sure, because Den Heng ill, as well as Jing Wan, so no issues there. See, now we're getting to, like, the actual hard part of the round, which, in theory, is Jeopard, but I think we'll be okay. I didn't even full combo properly on the Den Heng ill, because auto battle does what it does. And now we'll have a uh, vulnerability, so I think we'll be okay, you know? I think we'll manage. Okay, now you're supposed to see the full combo kill of Jeopard. Just watch, okay? If I get lucky, he'll die. Oh my god, he has 1% HP left. Can you actually believe that? Insane. The second his turn goes, he's just gonna die from injury. It's so goofy. But no, my uh, Zheng Wan is gonna kill him before. Still goofy, but hey, what? What are they doing? What are they doing? No! He put barrier on everyone. This is so silly. 
Jeopard, you sly goose. It's okay. We'll still win. Just might take a little longer. So goofy, but whatever. There we go. Now, as you can see, we are already at 22 remaining cycles. We are at round 7. 18 out of 30 stars. Overall, I think I'm doing pretty good, but judge for yourself, of course. I think I'll go with the basic teams of that. And then win quantum. I think I will end up doing this. This is a very risky team for me, but I think I'll be a-okay because both of the teams are strong. So, if I die and have to restart, I'll cut around that and let y'all know. So, cheers around that. Okay, entering into this next fight, I have 27 remaining cycles. So, I have no problem for now. We'll see how my Denheng ill damage keeps up, though. But... The main thing is Ting Wan might upgrade. Yeah, she might <coughs> upgrade Ice Guy a bit too much, but we'll have to see. Either way, Denheng ill damage OP. As long as no one dies, I should be able to clean this up no problem with my team. But, you know, we'll always have to see how the next round goes. The team is still absolutely destroying, so looks like my DPS overall is pretty good, so I'm not really mad or anything. It just means I might actually be able to get near 30 stars this time. Because as you can see, this auto battle is just destroying the enemy. Look at my, oh, damage. O-P-O-P. -O -P. Yeah, I just kind of manually fought a little bit there so they wouldn't miss their attacks. But that's the biggest issue with auto battle is they miss their attacks a lot. But we have 20 cycles remaining, 16 cycles left. And now we're going on to number 8. So... We might have to do a little auto on this one, but we'll see. It looks like my team right now is at least destroying the enemy, so I'm doing okay now. No issues. I will definitely have to manual battle on 9, though, because look at the damage they're taking. He chunked Jing Wan for a third of his, or sorry, two thirds of his HP in one go, so I could lose a character right now. And there's nothing I could do about it, you know? That's what's going on right now. Look how low they are! Uh, so, I'll have to definitely be careful next time. Oh, we did it! And that's actually not bad at all. Hopefully our secondary team can carry hard as well. But they have Bailu as a healer, so they should do okay, no problem. Okay, I have three, four, five more rounds, because it's round 21. And I think I can make it no problem. I just have to try and be a little careful so I don't get, like, one shot or very highly damaged or anything. You know, the usual, the usual. We can do this, no problem whatsoever, right? At least I think so. Oh my god, my Den Hang Ill just had to get revived. This is getting a little rough. I don't think I can make it to 30 stars, to be fair, but we'll see how I do. Okay, we'll see. We killed one of the main bosses, so now we're not doing that terribly. Well, everyone, this one was a little more tragic, sadly. We lost our one and only Yongsheng, and we still managed it at 16 cycles. So while I don't think I'm gonna ace nine at all, we're gonna try it by golly because this team comp will be very strong for us. I think I have to put Bailu there. I'll put my Natasha there, and that should do it. At least we can hope right now. No, that's not gonna work. I need to have it like, uh, there we go. That's gonna work, and that's gonna work. Now, let's hope we can actually pull this off and if we can, good job everyone, good job everyone. Now we haven't had any incidents yet, but I really think that lady could just mess it all up for us. But hey, who knows, everyone's gonna need heals now, so we'll try and do that and not die, but I don't know if I have this at all, we'll see. Okay everyone, it turns out we cannot handle this at our current healing capacities with Natasha. So, uh, that was pretty good. Let's die right now and check in to see what we've accomplished. <laughs> because you were watching the downfall of the team. There we go. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. But overall, 
we got 60, 120, 180, 240, 300, 360, 420 Stellar Jades, everybody. And like, what, 120,000? uh credits i can only get up to moc8 i'm so sorry but either way that was pretty good okay pretty good 23 star moc free to play honkai star rail farm get it done every 20 weeks and hopefully then you can pull for some of your beloved characters right now it's still fushuan i cannot buy fushuan not happening i can buy some of that and I need to remember to. I can buy a couple of these. Do I need to? Yep. And I can buy a handful of these. So remember to do that as well. And always purchase out your Star Rail Special Pass. To see that we are at 43 Star Rail Special Passes. 20 regular passes. Oh, not too shabby if you ask me. Thank you for watching, subbing, liking, and checking out any of the videos everyone. This took about an hour in total. Let me know what you think. Cheers, cheers, and remember I am free to play, so yeah, it is what it is, right? Cheers.